hi so in this video I will explain you what is a dictionary in Python so that is also one of the most important uh, concepts in Python that is one of the objects which is used in Python so in Python uh, there are like list we have <coughs> we have list we have tuples we have dictionaries and uh, we have set i have already made some of the videos on this list and set and other things as well so please have a look on that if you don't have any idea about uh, the list and all those things so or else you can have a look on this dictionary and then you can have a look on other videos so i have a playlist there uh, where i have explained you just a moment <laughs> So where I've explained you uh, about uh, this uh, list. So let's uh, begin with this uh, dictionary. So in dictionary, when we discuss about anything, uh, we talk about the key and value pairs. So we write in uh, likewise uh, in list, we write the elements separated by comma inside the square brackets. Whereas in dictionary, we write the elements inside the curly braces. That is first thing. The elements are separated by comma that is second thing and the elements are written like this first element is a colon 10 so that is the first element the second element is b colon 20 third element is c colon 100 so this is a the length of this dictionary is 3 so first element which uh, which says that a colon 10 that means the key is a and that key is associated with the value of 10 so when dictionary is useful when you have a concept where you have two things pairwise and they are connected to each other say you have a uh, consider a class of students where you have different 10 students and each have their own marks so in in the in the place of key you will write the student names and in after the colon you will write the marks so this will be a dictionary of student marks key value pairs so student will be the key and the values will be the marks of the students in this dictionary so let's uh, start with this dictionary make it simple write everything in, inside the curly braces and separate by the comma so first element i am writing as a colon 20 and it is like this so d1 if you print the value of d1 you will see here now once you have written now you have the key value pairs and this is three length elements number of elements and this is three now say if you want to access the first element of the dictionary so how would you access it you need to mention the key so first element has the key as a so you write the d1 and within the square braces you write a this is the this is the name of the key first so if you write like this you get the value of 10 if you write p here you get the value 20 this is the way you can access the values of the dictionary by just mentioning the key inside the square braces just after the, after the dictionary so this is the way of accessing the elements now say you want to add new elements or update the elements in the dictionary how you would do you first access it by d1 say you you add you want to add one more element d which has some value say minus 40 so you will write d1 d this is the key value uh, key name and the value is minus 40 now if you check the value of d1 it has become a b c and d so there are three there are four key value pairs because earlier it was three elements now you have four elements so you have updated likewise you can also update say you want to update the value of first element by giving the mentioning the value of a say you want to change it to minus 20 if you check now again the value of a is changed the first element is changed by just uh, mentioning the key inside this uh, dictionary so this is a way of adding new elements or updating uh, our dictionary so now next we will discuss about how to create an empty dictionary so 
and then you can how you can add i already told you how you can add the elements in, inside that manually but there are also ways uh, where you can just uh, dynamically uh, create a list uh, create a dictionary the way is known as list comprehension i have already uh, explained that uh, in a separate video where you can have a look on list comprehension but i am not talking about that list comprehension i am just talking about the dictionary here so i will be explaining how you can create an uh, empty dictionary let you just write d1 is equal to just curly braces write nothing inside it and this is a empty dictionary the other way to create empty dictionary is using the function that is the function name is dict just write like this and you will get the empty dictionary this is the way of creating an empty dictionary and you can then update say you want to update the empty dictionary you can do like this d1a is equal to 10 it will be updated now now instead earlier it was empty now it has one key value pair it has one element whose key is a and value is 10 now if you have seen my video on list comprehension then you must be understanding how you can use the list comprehension i will be creating this dictionary by using the list comprehension so i will explain you the way i am using so you need key and values so key is separated by key and value separated by colon so you write like this x within the curly braces you write x colon y for x comma y in this is a tuple of tuples and you write it like this a comma 1 b comma 2 c comma 3 so if it will be mapping it will be mapped x and y will be mapped iteratively so first x will take value a and y will take value 1 so it will be coming here next it will x will take value b and y will take value 2 it will come again here then x will take value c and y will take value of 3 it will come here so it is now a dictionary being created so you instead of writing three times you have just written um, a for loop and you can say you are just using a list comprehension technique where you can create thousands of uh, key value pairs in a dictionary so this is a very nice way to uh, do list comprehension to create a dictionary automatically and you can also do some kind of filtering or something by using if else conditions here that that i'm not going here but uh, this is a dictionary which uh, we have created now let's say you want to once you have created this uh, dictionary d1 you want to delete some items from there say you want to remove the first item whose key is a so you will write del del is the function for deleting and then d1 and inside that you write the key name that is the a so it will remove the first element with the key a and the element uh, and the value will also be removed so if you see that um, just a moment so if you see here then you see that the value of first element or inside the d1 is removed now the first key a and the value one has been removed so if you write it like this So first create this d1 like this and then delete so you get this b2 and c3 keep in mind first create and then remove if you have taken anything else because i am doing in sequence so you may be creating d1 is equal to empty dictionary so for this one first create this dictionary and then delete elsewise if you do not have key it will give some er errors in this so first you should always keep in mind you, you should create and then delete this uh, dictionary with the key you need to remove now say uh, you just want to get the value from the dictionary by just uh, by just specifying some key say um, so it will it will you what you will do is removes the key and returns the value by using the function pop so you do write d1 dot pop give the key name it will return the value it is it is similar to you can write d1 and inside the square braces you write you write it like this even inside the square braces you write b the value will be so b is already removed 
uh, now we want to first create again so what we will do is first we will create it again and then we will see the value see so for the d1 has b value is 2 so you could have access by like that also but when you use the pop what it does it 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 removes the key at completely from the dictionary it doesn't have the value so if you run this thing again and just then see the value of d1 you will see that b is no more there if you run d1 has a b c and 102800 but if you use the pop and you do b it will remove the b and it will return the value 20 it is not written in here because i am uh, uh, also writing d1 that's why it is just showing this d1 values so so you you will get only a and c so pop is actually removing the key completely from the dictionary by this way you are just accessing the element of uh, accessing the value of the the key which you have mentioned here not removing it d1 remains the same in this now the last thing which i will try to explain you about uh, what is the key value and where how you can use it uh, in the for loop uh, how you can use the key and values in the dictionaries uh, and how you can iterate the through that those key values uh, while using the for loop so you have mentioned like <coughs> a d1 is equal to d1 is equal to a 10 b20 and c 100 so this is one dictionary and you just want to iterate uh, during the for loop you take the key and values so how you will do it like uh, you will write like for key and value in d1 dot items so when you write d1 dot items it will iterate through all the key and values so it will first key will be a and the value will be 10 it will print that key value then the second time the key value key will be b and value will be 20 it will print again likewise it will do it so this is the way you can use the key and values by just accessing the items uh, d1 dot items by writing this so these are the methods so when you are uh, writing d1 this is the dictionary and when you write dot and then use some function that is one of the method which you are trying to access to so when you are writing items it is actually returning the key values iteratively so first it will return first key value and then second and third so when you are using for loop it will do iteratively first time second time and third time this is a very simple function where i'm just using a print function you could have done a lot of different things and you could have created your custom own functions uh, by using the key value pairs so this is how you can use the dictionary and uh, i think a uh, lot of things i have already explained in the next uh, few videos i will also be explaining how you can uh, convert these dictionaries into into pandas data frame and uh, how you can create list and uh, dictionary interchangeably so a lot of other things i will be doing and so that you can understand how you can connect each of these data types so thanks for watching this video please have a look on uh, my playlist on python programming and data science and machine learning in r and python in the channel so please do like and subscribe the video thanks for